Hi, I'm Tom Booth, coffee consultant and award-winning barista. Now I'm going to show you how to use the Delonghi Dedica to create fantastic latte art like you see in some of your best coffee shops. Remember, it takes a lot of time and practice to get this right. So we're going to show a foundation idea of how to make a heart, a tulip and a rosetta using the coffee as a canvas and the milk as your palette to draw some great designs. Alright, the first design we're going to do today for you is a heart. Heart's a great base for starting your coffee skills. Pour slowly into the middle of your crema. As you raise it up, pour a little bit harder, making a circle, and push through to form a simple heart. Right, the second pattern we're going to do today is a tulip. So we start again with our cup, pouring into the middle of the cup. We pour harder straight away, then stop back, pour behind, pour a final one behind again, and go through. Alright, the last coffee we're going to do is a rosetta. A rosetta is your classic coffee shop fern. And simply pour into the middle of the coffee, pulling up that crema, and then wiggle the jug side to side, creating that fantastic leaf shape. Once you've mastered this, and the heart and the tulip. You can use these three combinations to create all sorts of different patterns. And there are your three most basic coffee shop designs. Your heart, your tulip, and your rosetta, or your fern. It's gonna take a lot of time and practice to get these right. The most important thing is getting your espresso right. The espresso is the canvas for your latte art. Then you need to get your milk right. The right texture of your milk will allow you to be able to draw and create designs. Imagine your milk's like your palette. You have the right texture, which is a small amount of microfoam, not, no bubbles at all, then you'll be able to design all sorts of fun designs. Simply changing the angle of your jug will change from a thin pencil line to a paintbrush, a fat marker pen, and a big blob of foam. So practice really does make perfect. Enjoy creating your own designs, and don't worry if you get it wrong the first time. Sometimes it's fun to make a design that no one's ever seen before. Put it in front of somebody, see what you see. Enjoy.